guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my May and June empties. I originally filmed my May empties a month ago when I was going to plan on just putting them up by themselves, but I forgot and then got really busy and then just like didn't feel like editing for a really long time. So that, that video never went up. Um, so in a second, I'm going to flip to that video, which is just my May empties. I will go through all of those and tell you the total used up in the month of May. And then we'll jump back here and we'll do June empties. And then I'll tell you the total of everything I used up in June. And then we will do like a grand total between the two months. This video is probably gonna be like a million years long and I apologize for that. I'm gonna try to be a little bit better at, um, getting videos up in a timelier fashion and just being more consistent on YouTube. I say this every freaking video I film, but I really do want to work on consistency consistency on YouTube just because I do enjoy doing this. I really hate editing though, so I think that hinders me a lot. And there are days when I just don't feel like putting on makeup. So there's that. But yes, without further ado, let's jump back to last month when I talked about my May empties. So I feel like I don't have a ton this month and I'm just gonna start like grabbing and talking and not sorting so much because whenever I sort, I like tend to forget things in different categories. So I'm just gonna grab and go. And the first thing that we have is this Matrix Biolage Volume Bloom Conditioner. I still am working on the shampoo. I got this last summer during Ulta's like leader sales like when they put the giant shampoos and conditioners on sales I got it during that um it took me close to like 10 months to use it up which you know I think is a pretty good amount of time definitely got my bang for my buck buck especially because these were half off I think my main issue with this whole thing was that part of the deal was that you got a free pump with them like Ulta gave you their like three dollar pump for free if you bought them and uh, they don't work, they don't actually pump. Like as you can see, this one isn't up so that you can push it down. It never wanted to click into place. This and the one on the shampoo just never worked. I looked up reviews, that's quite common with these. So that really annoyed me. So like every time I went to use it, I'd have to screw it out and I took some off of the like tube in it or I just poured it into my hand and it was so annoying, but it's gone now. Would I repurchase? Probably not. I didn't find it to be that amazing. And I mean, these are pretty pricey. I do like to spend more in shampoo, but I also like to see that, you know, it's worth it for me to spend more on shampoo. Next up, we have a Crest 3D White Luxe Glamorous White Mouthwash. Um, I have gone through quite a few of these in the past, I believe, or at least I have quite a few of them currently. Um, they're good. They, you know, they do the job. They make your mouth feel cleaner. Um, as far as whitening goes, I can't say that, you know, I really noticed a difference as far as that is concerned. Uh, would I repurchase? Probably not. I feel like Listerine does the job as well. Um, I did like this more than a mouthwash that I got from a hotel, if that means anything. That felt too, like, dentist-y. It was weird, but this was nice. It's a good flavor. Um, I just... I'm not super like, oh my god, I have to be, I have to repurchase this. It has to be this one. Mouthwash is mouthwash. Next up, we have the Paul Mitchell Shampoo 2 Clarifying Shampoo. This is my go-to clarifying shampoo. I just really do enjoy it. And it is definitely something that I would repurchase in the future. I think I am currently working on one um, that is almost out, but this is definitely the one that I will be most likely to pick up. And a final shampoo conditioner product. This is the Matrix Exquisite Oil Moringa Oil Blend <laughs> Moringa Oil Blend Oil Cream Conditioner. Um, I used the shampoo up a while ago, maybe a couple months ago of this. This was fine. It wasn't anything super special. It was nice when I clarified my shampoo to be able to put a little bit more back into my hair. Um, however, it did kind of stress me out because I do have oily hair. Uh, I don't think it made my hair any oilier, but there was always that like part of me that was like, oh god, I'm terrified. Um, it was fine. I won't be repurchasing it. I just used it up because I had it, but uh, yeah, it was okay. And then of course, I have one of my Batiste dry shampoos. This is the Light and Breezy Fresh Scent. I like this. This is one of my favorite ones and one that I would definitely repurchase in the future. The next thing I pull out is the Bath and Body Works 
wild blackberries and basil gent gentle foaming hand soap with pure honey i loved this me and my roommate were like obsessed with the way this smelled it smells like blackberries but it's just so fresh oh my god i love it it's like sweet and beautiful i absolutely love this scent apparently it's an autumn blend but it definitely smells more like springy to me for some reason and if they bring this out again in the fall i will definitely pick it up because i'm addicted to the way this smells it smells so good next up i have two shower gels from soap and glory this is the sugar crush scent and this is the clean on me original scent i by far prefer this one this what did this smell like to me i can't even remember i know it's limes it almost smells like lemon pledge like that's what it smells like to me is like lemon pledge and i just ugh, i'm not a fan i didn't like using this in the shower i didn't find it refreshing or invigorating um this is forever my favorite scent their original scent is just like oh my god it's beautiful i absolutely love it i've gotten my mom on the whole brand and you know we are just total huge soap and glory fans now but um yeah i would obviously repurchase this i have in the past and this hard pass not a fan and of course i have two sensodyne true true white like mini toothpastes as always love this stuff um i'm not really sure if it makes my teeth any whiter than the other sensodynes but this is what i use what i like and i will repurchase next up we have a little perfume sample this is the ysl mon Puri scent i actually have this in full size i bought it recently but i pulled it out of my little perfume sample thing um just to grab one and i ended up pulling this one out and i just used it up really quickly i love this obviously i have it in full size but this was a nice little reminder of why i love it next up we have some skincare uh the first being the it cosmetics confidence in a cleanser for all skin types skin transforming hydrating cleansing serum anti-aging armor wow it's a mouthful um this was fine it was just like a normal cream cleanser not my favorite i didn't think it did much of anything and it's definitely not something i would purchase next up we have the drunk elephant b hydra intensive hydration gel um this came in a little set with their c firma serum um this was just okay i didn't think it did much to actually moisturize my skin which i found kind of strange um just because it definitely sounds like something that would be you know right at my alley considering i have combo oily skin and i do deal with you know too much moisture not too much moisture too much oil in my skin so i was thinking this would be nice definitely not enough to hydrate the face in my opinion i don't really know what it was about it but i definitely had to use a moisturizer with this which kind of surprised me especially because the c firma gave me dry patches so this did not impress me there are very few drunk elephant products other than their night serum their what's it the tlc for boost night serum that impressed me at all and this just didn't do it for me next up we have the olay henriksen transform sheer transformation perfecting moisturizer i had a sample of this i think back in december and i really really liked it um this time i found that it didn't sink into my skin quite as well as it the last sample i had did i still liked it and i still would consider purchasing it but i think i want to get another sample just to see you know if it's just better for my skin in the winter or what it is um because it didn't quite impressed me as much as my first sample did and last up for skincare i have the farsali unicorn essence skin enhancing antioxidant serum obviously everybody uses this as a primer on youtube i'm sure you've seen it it's the pinky serum that you know comes in a little droplet i love the way this smells um i however use it as a serum um i was finding when i was using that c firma serum that i couldn't use it every day and that my skin really needed a boost when i did use it because while it's you know decent for you know getting rid of texture and breakouts and stuff i also found that it could really damage my sensitive skin if i wasn't careful with it so on days when i wasn't using that i would use this instead and i didn't ever use it as a primer i'm sure it makes a great primer but i actually did really like it as a skin serum I'm not totally sure if that's like the point of it but i really liked it i like the way it made my face feel i like the way that it sank in and it was really great but it's just not something that i would 
purchase because it is quite expensive and I feel like I went through this so fast just because I was using it as a serum on a semi-regular basis um but it was good and I liked it maybe I'll buy another mini and see but um I'm it's not like calling to me to buy right now and last up we have makeup empties the first empty that I have is a sample I'm trying to use up more samples just because I feel like I have a lot around or just throw them away um this is the Marc Jacobs undercover perfecting coconut face primer I wasn't and not impressed by this um it's just so expensive and I didn't really see anything it was also only one use so maybe that had something to do with it but my initial response was not total pure bliss so I'm good next up we have another primer this is the benefit professional I have always had a, such a love-hate relationship with this product just because I find that on some days it looks great and on other days it either does absolutely nothing or like melts my makeup so I don't know I'm just not super drawn to this really my mom loves it I know a lot of people love it I know a lot of combo oily skinned ladies and gents really like it but it's just not my favorite and I always think like maybe this time I'm gonna love it and every time I'm like I don't know I don't get this so it's fine I don't need a full size next up we have something that took me a really really long time to use up um, this is actually a sample of the grande lips lip plumper um, I know that they've changed the packaging on these I believe or the no actually the full-size packaging just looks way different than this I think it comes in like a little clicky like packaging with a brush maybe I'm wrong um, I think I got this in a play box a while ago I don't subscribe to play any longer but I'm still using up the samples that they've sent me um, this literally has like no writing on it because I use this all the time I don't use it the way that you are supposed to I kind of use it as almost a primer or a prepping thing for my lips I put this on before I even start my makeup just to have it sit on there and kind of do its thing and then I either blot it off or I leave it on and just put something on over top of it I very rarely use this as a lip gloss however I have done that with a lot of things and this one just didn't impress me I think the biggest thing that kind of annoyed me was that none of the other ones I've used in the past claim to you know actually help your lips over time or like make your lips look fuller naturally over time and this one does say that and I just don't think that's true at all so I just don't think this is worth the money I know a lot of people like it um it's just not my thing Next up, we have the Tarte Opening Act Lash Primer. This went dry so quickly. I think I had this for way longer than I thought sitting in my drawer unopened. And then when I finally opened it, I just felt like I either used up whatever was left in or used up whatever was in it super quickly or it dried up really quickly. I don't know which one, but after a while, I just wasn't getting any product out of this. Um, I really did like it though. I am not sure I like it more than the Benefit Their Real Primer. I love that primer. I think that's totally worth the extra step. This I would forget a lot to use. And also I just felt like while it worked really well, there was just something about it that almost annoyed me about it and maybe it's just because this was drying up or maybe this is a super dry formula let me know in the comments if you know um but i'm not super called to repurchase it maybe that's just me i have a bad one or an old one um i'm just not really called to repurchase it because it was so dry and dried up so quickly and finally i have my urban decay all nighter setting spray this is the setting spray that i repurchase most often um i have now like a travel size i'm working through just because i got a little set that i liked um i like this i feel like it lasts me a really good while it's a reasonable amount of time and i feel like it sets my makeup there's a part of me that wants to go off setting spray and see if i notice any kind of a difference because now i almost feel like i just do it and i'm not even sure if it's doing anything so there's a part of me that once i use up the travel size i have of this that i will just cut it out and see what happens maybe that's a really bad idea for summer but we'll see uh we'll see what happens maybe i'll like do a week of testing but yeah i would definitely repurchase this obviously it's my favorite i think i'm gonna try the mattifying one again because i did really like that first up we have a sister product to one of the products i used up in may and this is the matrix biolage volume bloom shampoo this is for fine hair and it's just to add volume like i said with the conditioner this didn't wow me and i don't think i will be repurchasing this anytime soon 
Next up, we have the Love Beauty and Planet Tea Tree Oil and Vetiver Radical Refresher Shampoo. I was using this as a clarifying shampoo, so I would use this on a weekly basis just to try to get the gunk out of my hair and kind of re refresh my scalp. Um, as far as using this for that, I wasn't wowed by it by any means. It's not technically a clarifying shampoo, but this was like the best thing I could find at the time. And um, I don't think I would repurchase this. More hair care. This is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment mask with sea kelp and argan oil for dry damaged hair this like didn't do anything I would use this weekly to twice a week and I honestly felt like it made my hair feel, feel more dry like drier and I didn't get why because it's supposed to be like super hydrating and good for damaged hair and I literally was just kind of like I would get out of the shower and be like I don't feel a difference. Um, I just started to use this when I was sick of it as a daily conditioner. I could use it as that because it really didn't over hydrate my hair or anything. Um, yeah, definitely won't be purchasing this again and I don't really know if I'm that drawn to the Shea Moisture brand as a whole because this kind of let me down a lot. This is the Bath & Body Works Snowy Morning Creamy Body Scrub with Shea Butter. I do really enjoy the Bath & Body Works body scrubs. I think they're probably my second favorite to the Soap & Glory scrub of your life, I believe. Um, I didn't love this scent. Obviously, it's July, so, you know, this isn't really, like, meant to be used in the summer. It's more of a wintry scent. Um, even as far as winter scents go, I'm not a fan of this. I have the shower gel in my shower right now that I'm trying to get through and I just don't love the scent. This was fine. I would repurchase more of the Bath & Body Works body scrubs, just probably never the scent. Just pulled this out. This is the Crest 3D White Luxe Glamorous White Mouthwash. I used one of these up in May. I had two going at one time. I don't know why and I ended up being able to use these up back to back. Like I said in May, didn't notice any kind of whitening thing at all but um I definitely will buy more mouthwash just probably not this mouthwash let's do some supplements first off we have the ollie balanced belly for intestinal health a blend of active probiotics with prebiotic fiber this was my second bottle of these um and I decided to go back to my nature's flora I think is what they're called probiotic um I just don't really love gummy vitamins. I don't feel like they work that well and I don't really know why that is and that might just be in my head. Um, but yeah, I probably won't be repurchasing these. Maybe I will, who knows, but um, as of right now, I don't think I would. Then we have just some up and up vitamin B12s. I take B12 every single day and I try the up and up version. These are fine. I didn't really notice a difference between these and like the nature made ones. So, I mean, these are a lot cheaper, so I probably would repurchase these. Then we have some Terry Naturally Acne Essentials. This is supposed to like help stop breakouts and stuff and support healthy skin. I don't know. I think this broke me out even worse. I don't know why, but my skin freaked out when I was taking these and I didn't realize it was these until I ran out of them and my skin started to clear up and I was like, that's weird. Okay, so won't be repurchasing these because I'm pretty sure they like wreak havoc on my skin. So I'm good. We have some NYX Micellar Water stripped off what it's called. Um, I really liked this at first, but as I was running out of it, I found that I liked it less and less and that I felt like it didn't work as well as it did at the beginning. That may be in my head, but um, I do like this more than the Caudalie one, Caudalie one that I was using a couple months ago. Um, I'm currently using a Neutrogena one and I definitely like this one more, so I would consider repurchasing this, giving it another shot, because so far this is probably my favorite. Oh, I found another supplement. This is Up and Up Vitamin D3. I take vitamin D every day and yet again, don't see much of a difference between these and the nature made ones. So yeah, I would repurchase these. Deodorant because you need deodorant. This was good. I probably wouldn't buy the lavender again, but this was good. Something that I used up, this took me a year to use up and there's like stuff all over it. Ew, what is sticky in this bag? Okay. There's like stuff melted all over this. This is the Sunday Riley Martian Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner. <sighs> I used this for a full year. It took me a full year to use up. I used it pretty regularly and um, I liked it, but I'm not sure I would spend the $55 to repurchase it. I feel like it didn't do as much as I was hoping it would for $55. 
At the same time though, I've been using some toners since and I definitely prefer this one. Maybe I'm just not a toner girl, I don't know. I've never really understood the purpose of toner, really. Um, as of right now, I won't be repurchasing this. We'll see what happens if I start to miss it or anything like that, but really right now I haven't missed it. Um, it's pretty pricey and I just didn't notice the result I would want out of a $55 product. So, for pricey skincare, this is a little mini size of the Drunk Elephant Bestie Jelly Cleanser. It's cantaloupe. Um, I've heard good things about this, but I am not a fan. I just didn't think this did very much for my skin. Um, I know it's a little bit more hydrating, so if you have dry skin, that may be something to consider for this, with this. Um, I have combo oily skin, so I do like something that's gonna kind of either combat my oiliness or help with breakouts and this isn't supposed to do either of those so it would make sense that it didn't do that um but i've also found that i've been enjoying cleansers that aren't really supposed to help with breakouts too so i was hoping i would enjoy this i didn't really like it i don't love the packaging on it either that's what's leaking cool um i don't love the packaging on this either it's not an actual lid you twist it and then squeeze it and obviously it gets a little messy sometimes. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to buy a full size of this or seek out another deluxe size sample of this because I just didn't love it. More Drunk Elephant. This is the C Firma Day Serum. I've heard great things about this. I found it to be pretty harsh on my skin. I have relatively sensitive skin, so that was something I really had to keep in mind. I was using this back and forth with a different serum just so that I wouldn't overdo my skin because I would get really like irritated patches right at the tops of my cheeks when I would use this too often. Um, but now at first, well, the first, my first initial reaction after using this up was I didn't love that. I didn't think it was worth it. You know, I don't really need to repurchase it. But now that I have gone about a month, not a month, probably like a couple weeks without it, my skin is kind of freaking out at the same time. I'm not really sure. I, I might miss this. I might miss this because I'm kind of finding that between this and the night serum, the Drunk Elephant night serum that I use, it was doing good things for my skin. Maybe. I'm going to try to introduce a couple other serums. I haven't been using a serum since I used this up um, just because I was in the process of finding a new one. <sighs> I'm very, very conflicted on my feelings about this. My initial reaction was no, and now I'm kind of rethinking that. More skincare, we have the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. I didn't love this. I bought this for just like a little mini so that I could use at the end of my school year before I moved back home. And um, it's okay, I don't love it. I think it irritates my skin a little bit. Um, it's a pretty gentle exfoliator, so I was kind of surprised that my skin didn't seem to love this. But um, I probably would not seek this out again. It was just okay, and but not anything special. Then we have the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. If you know, this is in my Project Pan, so this was so exciting to use up. Um, this is like a $60 mask, and I don't really think it's worth that. Um, I do have combo oily skin, so hydration isn't something I struggle with a lot, but this was something, you know, that I was hoping I would see a difference in. Yes, my skin was very soft, very, you know, nice after I would use this, but it wasn't long term, and I would definitely rather invest in acne treatment masks rather than hydrating masks, just because that's the kind of problem I deal with. So, this was okay. I don't think I would, you know, put the money back in. I definitely will probably, definitely will probably uh, buy the white version of this, the actually like acne, you know, the one for acne skin. Uh, so we'll see. Or so this was fine, but it's gone, and I'm pretty happy it's gone. We have another mask. This is the Bosha Charcoal Pore Pudding. Um, this I didn't think really did anything. I really have been missing the Glam Glow. What is it called? It's the white version. Like, it's the white, it comes in the white little jar. I can't think of it right now. Um, I definitely have been missing that, and the more I use charcoal pour acne masks, uh, the more I miss it. Uh, this, I didn't think really did anything for me. I didn't find any difference in my pores or in my skin at all, so I don't think I would 
seek this out again. We have a little Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter Body Moisturizer. Lotions are a part of my Project Pan, so I have been trying to remember to use lotion more. I'm failing at it, but it's fine. Uh, this is my all-time favorite body butter. I love it. I will continually repurchase this. It's just really good. As usual, we have Sensodyne toothpaste minis because my aunt's a dental hygienist, so. We have a Too Faced Mascara Melt Off Cleansing Oil waterpro Waterproof Mascara Dissolve Her. This worked. It was fine. It was just like a little oil. It comes out in this little applicator thing. Um, my issue with this, I don't think I used this up, but my issue with this is that every time I would use it, I would think about the fact that I'm putting this on to take off makeup. So I'm putting it on, you know, old makeup, day old makeup, and I am dissolving it and then I'm putting it back in the tube. The more I thought about it, the more I was like, I don't like that idea. So while this works, especially if you're using like a cleansing balm and you just want the little extra oomph to get off your eye makeup, this works. But I'm not gonna go after this. I don't buy Too Faced, so I obviously won't be repurchasing this, but I will never, de I, like, I don't think I will ever seek out a format like this just because it seems really unsanitary to me. Let's do fragrance samples. So we have a Clean Reserve Citron Fig. This was nice. Um, it was definitely a nice, clean, fresh scent. Um, nothing overpowering. So it's definitely, I like clean for that kind of scent. It's just not something I'm really drawn to. Um, a lot of the time I just want my perfume, not to say that I want my perfume to smell like perfume, but kind of. Um, this didn't quite smell like perfume. It was more of just like a fresh, nice scent. So if you're into that, I would definitely say click, check out the clean line. They do have really nice scents for that, but I wasn't drawn to this. And then this is the Giorgio Armani C perfume. This smells a lot like a lot of things that I already own. So it was something that I'm definitely drawn to, but I'm not really sure what perfumes it reminds me of. I just have a feeling that I own one or two or more of perfumes that are very similar to this, so I definitely don't need it. And then last up for skincare, we have the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. Um, this is like a deluxe eye sample. I cut it open just to get the last little bits out. This didn't really impress me. Not a huge fan. Definitely I'm not going to, you know, go after this in a full size or anything. It was just okay, but I'm glad that it's gone. Okay, so we have two little makeup -y bits. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Um, this was in a Project Pan of mine, so this was really nice. I literally thought I wasn't going to finish it in time for the Project Pan, and then like the last day I used it, it just like stopped working. So that's good. This is gone. I believe this is my last sample of that, which is good. Um, I'm, I have pretty negative feelings towards Kat Von D right now. Um, so not really trying to promote or buy her brand, but this is gone. Basically, this is gone. I won't be repurchasing it. I don't even use liquid liner that much anymore, but yeah, this is gone. And then last up for makeup, we have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, all-time favorite eye primer. I'm currently using one from Too Faced to get rid of it, and I don't like it nearly as much as this. I just think this works so well on my eyes. It keeps everything, locks it down. I don't have fading or creasing. Um, it's funny because I forget that that's a problem because I just use this and that takes care of it. Um, so yeah, I've had this for a while, so it's pretty good that it's gone because it's pretty old. And last up, we're gonna roll through some samples. I've definitely been trying to use up more samples recently instead of letting them just sit in my drawers unused. First up, we have the Bosha Detoxifying Black Cleanser. Uh, this was fine, but I don't love it. It's really messy. Like, black cleansers, it's just like, that's really messy. Like, I, it gets everywhere. Um, so I don't think I would buy the full size of this. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I've had a deluxe eye sample of this before, and I do really like it. I would consider buying it in a full size. This is the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. This was okay, but it didn't blow me away, and I won't be seeking out the full size. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Rep Replenishing Hydrator. I liked this. I would consider getting a deluxe size sample maybe of this to try it out a little bit more because I did enjoy this. 
This is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I've had a full size of this in the past and I have enjoyed it. Um, I have quite a few primers to get through right now, but it is a primer that I would consider buying in the future. I have another of the Tarte Drink of H2O. I have two of the Algenist, what is even, this was like an anti-aging cream, I believe it was called. This was fine, but uh, didn't blow me away or do anything that crazy that made me want to seek it out further, so I'm good. And then finally, we have the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I have used a deluxe size sample of this in the past, and I did enjoy it, but don't buy Too Faced, so it doesn't matter. I say this every month, but I really hope July's empties uh, go up on a normal time that isn't way, way too late. Um, I also really need to kick it into gear with empties in July because we're like um, like 10 days in or something and I've pretty much only used up samples. Pretty proud of that because I'm using samples, but I need to like start using product as well. But without further rambling, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.